America takes two giant steps in space. The first and most spectacular is hitting the moon with Ranger 4, here being readied for launching at Cape Canaveral. The complex mechanisms for transmitting scientific data never go into operation, but the triumph of the free world's first spacecraft on the moon is unimpaired. Here, the 12-foot Ranger atop its 100-foot boosters arrives at the launching pad. This is America's 10th attempt to cross the more than 238,000 miles of space to the moon as the Russians did in 1959. to reduce the heat left by the blast off as Ranger 4 starts its 64-hour flight that will end just where intended on the far side of the moon. Two days later, another spacecraft is poised at Cape Canaveral. It's Saturn, the mightiest known rocket stage in the world with a thrust of a million and a third pounds. As Saturn will boost the first Americans to the moon, possibly in 1968. Space authorities, Drs. Werner von Braun and Kurt Diebus watch the takeoff. Five miles up, the Saturn's ballast of tons of water will be released into the ionosphere, the first man-made cloud in space. With the United States and Great Britain launching the first international satellite the following day, this is truly America's great week in space.